So the next step in the process is, is not much of a process for the seller, except for that they need to leave the house. It's the inspection, right? Usually a buyer will have one, if not multiple inspections. We try to, as realtors, put them all in the same amount of space as possible, like one trip, but it can't always happen. So the buyer will inspect the property. And along with that, there may be other due diligence, some of which they may ask the seller to do, some of which the buyer will do on their own. Uh, to figure out what they think about the property and all the things that are good and bad and you know, that can affect their way that they live in the property. So uh, for that, the seller just leaves for about three hours as a general rule and the inspection happens and a few days later, uh, they send over an inspection objection. Those are the things that they wish for the seller to complete. The seller gets to decide exactly what they are and are not willing to do. It's generally a big negotiating point in the contract and then we come to some agreement, we write it up as the inspection resolution and it's signed by all parties and we move forward. Um, sometimes deals die because of inspection, sometimes the things are found that the seller didn't know about and they're very expensive and you get to fix them. There's lots of ways around some of the issues but it can be a stressful part of the process and the second biggest negotiating point as a general rule after the initial offer becomes a contract.